Welcome back to Hitman Blood Money, a game about being a hitman. Back to pro difficulty. And today, curtains down. Enjoy the cutscene. The scoop of the century is a couple of wine guys getting whacked in Chile? It wasn't the victims that caught my eye. It was their killer. I believed it was Mr. 47. The bald killer clone? Come on, Jack. He's an urban legend. Even the CIA and your own FBI say he doesn't exist. We say a lot of things, Rick. It's part of the job. Delgado was a very successful man. Successful men in that part of the world tend to be, well, call it security conscious. Not many people could have done this thing solo. So you went running after a myth? No, no. It merely caught my attention. One of my CIA friends was also intrigued. The opera incident heightened our curiosity. Have a look. Sneaking in library. There it is. War and Peace. Now that's quite a book. Comes with the flashcard inside. You don't just put random flashcards in your computer. That's a bad idea. You should not do that. It's a great way to get computer viruses. Hello, 47. We've got some business at the Paris Opera. Opera. Two targets. The famous tenor. And this Richard guy. Della Hunt, the American ambassador to the Vatican. Our client claims they're behind a prostitution ring trafficking in boys and girls from Eastern Europe. Tosca is still in rehearsal, so there's plenty of activity at the Opera House, and you shouldn't be too conspicuous. That is good. Ambassador Della Hunt watches most rehearsals from his box. He travels with an armed escort, but there shouldn't be any other security to speak of. You'll get some cover from the construction crews renovating the theater for the new season. We've also left you a pickup in the cloakroom. In the third act of Tosca, the tenor faces a firing squad. That scene may provide a useful opportunity. It's a straightforward assignment, 47, but the agency's been having some problems in Paris. Use extreme caution. That last line is a throwback to, uh, I believe, another Hitman game. Not one I've played, but whatever. Select weapons? None. Sle upgrade equipment? Uh, nope, that's not allowed either. Oh, well. So without, without any further delay, let's go uh, bag ourselves a tenor. And an ambassador. Uh, actually, you know, taking tenor out sounds far more exciting. I like to think he's getting eliminated because of his bad music reviews. Harsh industry. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do is go prep for our disguise to go get the tenor. You saw the men in black back there by the door, at the top of the stairs. That's the ambassador's entourage. You cannot get to the ambassador until you get to him out of that box. And the easiest way to do that is kill the tenor first. So all I have to do is wait for my uh, walking disguise to come in here. And then I'll take him out and proceed to acquire the weapon from the cloakroom. I'll get the disguise first because I don't want him to get spooked with me being in the bathroom. So I'm going to get my sedative... Just gotta wait. Should come in shortly. Oh, look! There he is. As soon as the door shuts, because doors magically close in their own in this game. Let's crouch down. Trank him! Nothing bad. Shut up. Go to sleep. It's not. You weren't grabbed by an icky hitman. 
By the way, I want your clothes. And you get to go in our first official dumpster of doom. In you go. Get in there. Alright, now I need my suit back first. So I can go get the item from the cloakroom. Because for some reason they don't want to give it to a, uh, a lowly maintenance man. Hello! Here is your jacket, sir. Thank you. And just like that, we now have a gun. Don't you want the jacket, sir? No, just needed something from one of the pockets. I'll pick it up later. I left my cell phone in there. Which actually thinking about it wouldn't be the smartest move on my part. I wouldn't want uh, people getting a hold of some phone numbers. Scammer's favorite trick. Alright, so now we're disguised. Open the door. Open the door. Okay. Grab my toolbox. Don't no don't place an item in there. Just grab the toolbox. Alright, now we just go downstairs. Let's get there quickly before people realize something's amiss. I don't want to be searched by the guards either because I do have a gun now. Let's get to work. I suppose I could always hide the gun in the toolbox. But Yeah, sure. Who's got time for that? If the guy's on stage, I can get there then by going this way. Don't need to I don't need to carry the toolbox any further than I have to. Don't need to put anything in it, so we'll put it right there for the time being. It should be just a simple item switch. So I'm just going to work. Okay. So at the top of the stage here, there's another guy working. This presents two options. We can either sedate him or throw him off causing an accident. I would so much not want to have to kill him. But I don't want him to risk stepping on the remote mind I'm going to place down later. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. What a wonderful day working atop the theater. Sounds like a copyright claim going on below. How you doing, man? What, really? I don't understand a word you said. Yeah, you should go back to work. It's not like anything icky's gonna happen in here. What? I, I'm, I'm not armed. I'm perfectly harmless. I don't have any sedative syringes or crap like that. Oh, mon Dieu. Il est armé. Well, bad news for you, buddy. Well, <laughs> that makes you a witness. I hate witnesses. So, we're going to have an accident. Where'd you go? Come on, fatty. I'm get stuck on the freaking railing. Well, since we are the hitman of the opera, you gotta do this. And the first person that died, in the, at least in the book or movie or whatnot, was... A repairman! That's gonna be found really quickly. Let's lay low until that's... done. So we'll just, uh, sit here and wait until they, the guards decide that whatever happened was a freak accident. The guy just fell on the stage because he was working too hard. Or better yet, he committed suicide. His job was so shoddy, he killed himself. I'm just going to stand here patiently, looking at the dead eyes, and we'll wait.
All right. The gauge is starting to turn green again. That means they've probably concluded whatever happened was a freak accident. If I'm lucky enough, no one will be here. Okay, I don't see any guards here. Briefly check the map. Good. We just need to get to the executioner's dressing room and play a little uh, stop and swap with the uh, pistol question. Total accident. Oh. Also, I need to remember the reason why I came here in the first place. That's to rig the lights right here with the bomb. I had to get rid of the previous guy who was walking around because I don't want him to die from the explosion. If he dies in the explosion, it will not count as an accident. This way he dies in a way that's totally an accident, at least looks like an accident, and I can get away with murder. Now then. Guard's not there. Oh, gotta wait for him to go away. Act all innocent. I need the man in black to go back to the bathroom. If he does, I can go into the uh, executioner's room here, hide in the closet, and then wait for the opportune time to replace the pistol. Take his prop gun, switched out for the real weapon here. And then I can simply just go back, get my suit, sit back in the uh, lobby down there, or maybe the, the hallway or the concert's taking place, and wait. Because after the Executioner shoots and kills the tenor, Della Hunt, the ambassador, will get upset and he'll run out. And while running out, he'll uh, eventually stop on stage and get himself blown up. So until then, we just wait. It's now a matter of time waiting for the opera to end. They run this scene twice before they go back and reset up. So I'm going to save you the trouble of having to watch me wait it out. Because I already gave you a waiting music scene previously. I'm just going to cut to when the guy comes in the door. See you there. Alright. So the executioner should be coming in this door any second now. And there he is. The magical door closes on its own. Because doors work like that apparently. Hello buddy. Don't mind me. Let's wait for him to leave. Very nice, very nice. Perfect pose for firing the gun, yes. Wonderful. A great actor. There's very few actors who can do better than you. And... Come on, door. Come on, door. Good. I'll take that. I'll give you that. Back in the closet. So now when he comes back in... He'll grab the real gun. We'll just wait for him to humbly come back from the John. Ah, here he comes. There's the bell. You might want to get the gun. Now, that must be one hell of a prop pistol, though, on comparison. Because this guy can clearly not tell the difference between the prop and the real deal. Despite the fact is I'm pretty sure the real gun be really heavy. Okay. Now I can just go to the restroom or the cha or the locker room for the staff. Hello, gentlemen. Have you seen my toolbox? <laughs> That's a simple matter though of getting the heck out of here. In fact, I don't even want to walk out of here with the prop in my possession. Rodents. You can kill the rodents to find a secret room inside the opera, but in this case, I'll uh, throw what might be a silent assassin raiding out the window. So we're going to postpone on that. 
First things first. Gonna dump the prop pistol back in the toolbox. If someone's gotta get framed, right? All right, let's get the hell out of here. Excuse me, guard, sir. Wonderful day at the opera. I left my toolbox somewhere. Have you seen it? I'm going this way because ultimately it will delay the uh, time of the execution. Or not delay the time of the execution. It's to make it so I can actually get out at a reasonable time. No one's coming. So, um, there we go, back in the suit. Now all I have to do is wait for it to all go down. Since this game lets me exit out the front here, on this level anyway, this is the ideal place to wait. I can just be standing looking at the uh, beautiful pictures, prepped with a detonator. If you listen carefully, you'll hear the music in the background get closer and closer to that man's death. Here we go. The execution scene's been performed. And he's thoroughly dead. That's the check mark means. Now, you see the door there with the two uh, men in black by it and the guy walking in front of it where I said Della Hunt was? He's going to come bursting out of there in a minute. I'm probably going to have to get closer because I don't think I'm in range of the explosive anyway. Yep. And there he goes. What happened? Something happened, officer. Tragedy? Sir! Must be serious! Oh my goodness! I just have to wait till he's in plays. I don't remember if the game will show me when he's in play, so I'll just go take a peek. There's his corpse. Is the ambassador in place is the question. Yep, the ambassador's in place. Bye! Out of range. Yeah, I figured. Get closer. It's terrible! What a tragedy! Oh, come on. How close do I have to be? Do I have to be literally standing in the aisle like an idiot? Bye! Oh my god! Police! Police! An explosion! Do something! Oh well, goodbye. Just walk away like nothing happened. And this is the reference to one of the previous games, I believe, as I said before.
Oh look, shots fired? None. Close combat kills? None. Accidents? Four. Caught on camera? None. Witnesses? None. Let me think what this might be. Silent frickin' assassin. Yes! Perfect. And to the newspaper. Silent assassin wanted by the police. You know, with the easiness of this level, I'm actually surprised that this is not the first level because the vintage year is a whole lot harder than this one. And let's see if we can find our reference to our next level on this uh, paper here. Cat spark, cat sparks, cat spark killer explosion. What? What? Holy crap! They are trying to take over the world. Alright, well that's going to conclude this episode of Hitman Blood Money. Hope to see you next time where I believe we get to break into a uh, rehab clinic. That should be fun. Anyway, till then.